It was one point we were in Queens Detention Center when someone got loose. Chopper, helicopter, everything outside. We in there like this. Yo, <laughs> we really in the joint. We shoot in actual prisons and we're there. So it's like the kind of thing that like when you're there, the space it has an effect on you. You know, we're not on a sound stage. We are in actual prison cells. We have spent some time in Sing Sing in the Queens Correctional Facility. There's an energy in those buildings that you just don't feel anywhere else. When I go to Sing Sing, just walking into that prison, it's just such a sharp change. It definitely means, it means something. It changes the, the whole energy of the talent. Mr. Dawkins, my name is Sophia Masri, and I run this institution. It seems you've developed quite the reputation inside the prison system. And feeling the weight of the gates, the doors, hearing the sounds of, like, the, the echoiness of it. It's all metal and concrete, and the, the size of the windows, the size of the bed, actually how cramped those cells are, the lack of privacy. But we've been on set during days where the prison goes into lockdown. There have been riots at facilities on days that we're there. There has been an escape. To know that that's going on, to talk to the corrections officers, to say, like, yes, there were multiple people shivved this morning, is very sobering and brings you right into the world of what we're talking about. If I pull this off, I could really hurt them where they live. It's hard to ignore it when you're on set and you are playing a character that in real life would be in there. There are people just on the other side of the wall that this is reality. And so you automatically put yourself in their shoes. We're not just play acting a fantastical story or some kind of action movie story. This is real stuff. These are real issues that are happening every day. When we were at the Westchester prison, we were sitting in a cell. The logical place in that moment was to put the screens in Video Village for us to watch. And Isaac was with us, and we were all kind of crammed into this, into this room. And then there was one scene where they needed to close the gate. I didn't know this, and I just heard the words. All of a sudden, I heard the words, close the gate. And then there was this buzzing noise, and the gate started to close. And the sound of the metal coming together, it, it brought me back to a time that was that was really, really difficult for me. That, that sound and those gates closing, it, 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 it bothered me a great deal, so I had to get out. All of us started to feel incredibly claustrophobic and really, really uncomfortable. We knew that they could open the door and we weren't trapped. We found that that was incredibly effective in having everybody really understand what it's like. When they opened the door, we were all like, just, all right, Get, get us out of here, we had to go somewhere else. And that was really profound. That was a very, very unique experience and a very, uh, a very troubling experience for me when that, when that happened. He got quite emotional about it, because not only is he seeing myself portray a version of him go through things that were really um, powerfully emotional for him, but he's then in a facility. You know, when the prison doors lock, they really lock. You know, when that sound goes off, it's the real sound.